I'm, I'm curious what your perspective is on the politicization of crypto in the US. Now, we're a little bit sort of in the election cycle and uh, the ETPs, uh, specifically the Ethereum ETF, got passed uh, rather rapidly, faster than a lot of people expected. And um, we were in, in Austin for consensus last week. One of the main criticisms of crypto native people was that they're a little bit cynical and they think crypto is being too politicized. I'm curious, uh, you, so you operate in, in, the, e, uh, in the European Union and also um, uh, in Britain, you said, and 10 other countries. Do you think this politicization of crypto is going to come to Europe? Uh, or do you think we have uh, mature enough regulations to, to prevent something like that? Now, now let me use my old hat. Um, Europe is famous for basically regulating before, you know, developing. Uh, US is more famous about let it collapse and then we fix it. Um, which means from a tech perspective, US is slightly better because it allows you to go a, a little bit beyond, example, FTX. And then you say, whoa, 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 we, ha we have to fix it. Um, and and you, you, probably Europe, you don't have those, those way too big problems. They kind of have a MICA regulation, a GDPR regulation, and e-money regulation. So you have all things, kind of a payment service provider and a payment initiator. They have so many names for so many stuff uh, that you even we get confused, like, uh, yeah, if something. So, U.S. <clears throat> Our card functions in the U.S. Why I want to start from that point? Because we have Stable sitting in, in a Visa card, and you have a network in the U.S., and you have merchants that accept Visa, and therefore you accept my card. And they get paid in U.S. dollars. Okay. That means our users, when spending in the U.S., against the law, the ones that do not live in the U.S.? No. So, in one hand, we have addressed regulation sufficiently to allow this to happen. On the other hand, governments depend on banks because they are the buyers of the bonds, which are the instruments that allowed governments to evolve. Then, the banks are under threat because there's this new group that allowed very sophisticated banking to now be available to anyone. Um, and it's becoming easier and easier and easier to, be, to have access. Uh, I think people are just uh, reacting out of fear. The entire politicization, uh, it's, it's very interesting because Donald Trump probably five years ago in the crypto community was more hated than loved. If you're now in 2024, you're heavily Donald Trump because Joe Biden sanctioned, you know, the most democratized uh, uh, answer, right? I mean, what happened there was Republicans and Democrats decided how to pass the bill forward for crypto. And then Joe Biden decided to say no to it. So in my view, like there's so many things going on. There's, I don't think, I don't think it's specifically to crypto. I think the world is crashing in, in, because information was a lot more controlled and a lot more centralized to people. Now we have any individual have a voice, bunch of narratives have a, Michael, uh, more, I think, was his name, right? The, the, the guy that I was always creating uh, this um, crazy theories about uh, stuff. There was one guy, and he could only access media, which was like CNN or Fox. Nowadays, you have millions of Michael Moores in, in YouTube telling what they think, or maybe having evidences of, of how governments are not functioning anymore. And, and, and I think that democracies is a check. And, and so I don't think the problem in the politics is directly related to crypto. I think it's influencing heavily the crypto users and the crypto community. But because also the, fun, the founding pot came from banks and the crypto community is attacking banks. And, and, and yeah, Hopefully, I could express this. It's a very complex 
question, but I, if it would be five, if it would be a world without YouTube and uh, X and I'm pretty certain that uh, Web3 would be already a lot further. That, that, that's, that's how I look at this. It's because there is this sense that Web3 will kill the banks. Bank will exist for my dad. Bank is not creating the relevance to deal with my kids. My kids probably would trust a lot more Apple than the bank. So that says something about the life of a bank or banker.